Excuse me, young man. Are you the man that left my mom to cut her for me alone? No, sweetheart. I was having some issue. That is why I traveled. It's not that I ran away. You did not run. Why didn't you come back to us? Why didn't you come ask of me in this moment? Well, now I've known you. I think I need to know you better. By doing so, I'll be staying for the duration of the holiday. You and your mom? No, just you and I. Mom got a lot to take care of. I will come back to pick me when it's time. All right, let me help you with your bag. Sure. It's going. Huh? It's your bag. No, is this how you people hit in this house? Can't you even pray for a moment? And to who? I'm lucky I met you. Um, Mike, can you help me get uh, some stuff on your way out? Please. There better be something else this time around. Because if it is what I'm thinking, sorry, I will disappoint you on this. For crying out loud, I just bought you 15 books with at least 265 pages. Within the space of five weeks, are you trying to tell me you're through with it or you're just reading the autobiography? Of course I'm through with it, Mike. It takes me less than 24 hours to go through 300 pages. That's it. Andrew. Are you, are you okay at all? Oh no, I'm not sure you're okay. If you're okay, you'll not be behaving the way you are. I can know how much you've spent on books for the past six months. Not even the past year. Oh yes. Come on. Take on something more profiting than this nonsense you're doing. Um, <clears throat> Michael, you really want to understand, but please, I'll be waiting for you in the living room. Oh, don't wait on me, man. You'll be highly big surprised. Don't, don't wait on me.
mind if you can help your brother with Tife, please. If the job a brother does to survive cannot even pick his bills, why still die doing the work? Ali came to you for help. Why beating me with your grandma? Why can't you just say the word and let me go? Now since you know the words already, why wait for me to speak first? Huh? Really? Hey, 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 Kelvin, John, why are you like this? It was only a joke. Andrew, spare me this, your grandma. I'm running late, and you know what that means. Okay, I will give you your transport fare, but on one condition. Which is? You help me get these books from the store on your way back. Deal? Why didn't you ask Mike? to do that for you. Why treating me like a slave? Treating you like a slave? Yeah. How can I treat you like a slave? Of course I'm not. Anyway, if you help me get these books from the shop, I won't ask for my money. But if you don't, I won't only ask for the money. But you will pay with interest. Deal? Getting the books for you is the only option for me not to repay the money, right? Of course, that's how we roll. is this? Eh? What kind of rubbish is this? No Kelvin and even my books I can't find. If for any reason he has to stay back somewhere, couldn't he have called me on phone at least? Or has he been arrested? Has he been killed? be killed. For the sake of my books, he cannot be killed. No. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. This idiot has started again. Which responsible human will play music so loud at such an hour?
Pat. Pat, what's going happen now? Now where you walk out, go, go enter river now like this. Is that supposed to be the kind of question you ask him? Seeing him in this condition? Guy, I don't understand you. Now me send a message when I go know what's going happen to him. Maybe from this question that they ask him so I go know where he go or the bridge where he fall from. I beg, not use your own and tell me this night too. I beg. I see you really have no conscience. Kelvin, please talk to me. What happened to you? After work, I went to get your books at the store. I never knew there were bad guys around. And they attacked me. So, what about my books? As for the book, I can't really tell where I left it. Um, I, I'm, I'm really sorry about all that has happened to you, but uh, I need to go and finish up what I'm doing in the room. I will check on you soon, okay? Sorry, eh? Only God know how many books this guy they really did. If I had gone to the store by myself, would I not be reading my books by now? How on earth will the store be attacked? No. This is not true. There must be a clue to solve here. Are you going to the school or to the bar? I mean, have you been called to the bar to explain the situation of the country and those behind? 
or you're going to the classroom to teach? Of course to the classroom. With all these textbooks, wait a minute. Will you implore to run those students mad or to change your life for the better? Listen up, Mike. If you want to talk to me, please be crystal clear, okay? And again, education is key. <laughs> and since you have been opening all these books, how many keys have you found? <laughs> Guy, you better be careful. So that the school management not go arrest you. Is it that you run mad or you run the student mad? For this one, I see so. <laughs> anyway. Now waiting again. Uh, person no go rest for this ass. Guy, no verse. Now do it. This is book stuff. How are you? Um, I hope you're back on your feet now. Right? Anyway, since you're going out, I'll give you a lift. Just go and get dressed. That's all. And you have five minutes to do that. Okay. Uh, guys, see, you know this thing I'm telling you, you have to have a rectinko. Uh, just have to. This has become not too much. Bro, don't you think what my was telling you back there is right? Too much books could lead to certain end, and that is what I pray could never happen to you. Is that supposed to be an advice? A piece of your mind you're just planning about what my was said to you? Bro, it's an advice. It's an advice, bro. Oh, the next time you ever repeat such to me, you have to trek to wherever you do. Hello, B. How you doing? Like seriously? Come on. If it's a joke, please stop it. You know I really cannot afford it at this moment. Okay, fine. When do you wish to come visit me so I can set a day aside for just you and I? Forget about the club. My guys will stand out for me. Ah, uh, and I'm telling you, you'll never regret ever coming this time around. Okay, okay, Tim then. I love you. Babe, see that guy 
I don't leave that guy in your face. You don't get money to make guy. It's just an appropriate big pull of glass to kill them with the thing. Person don't get money that way they make noise. I don't forget that one, Jari. Ah, it's his head. Person don't get money to make noise. Give that boy a shoe. Fast so or usual of you. Did anything happen at your place of work? Has anybody called to give bad news from home? Come on, man, talk to us. What is about to happen is worse than the three of us can ever imagine. And what on earth could that be that has crippled you from being your usual self? Sydney is bringing Claire over to the house for holiday. What? You see this ball? It was supposed to pass this ball. See now, see. Ah! You better just win this match. The man that in the This is the man that got me pregnant and then abandoned you and I. Which of them, Mom? I need to be clear. This very one standing before me. Excuse me, young man. Are you the man that left my mom to cut her for me alone? No, sweetheart. I was having some issue. That is why I traveled. It's not that I ran away. You did not run. Why didn't you come back to us? Why didn't you come ask of me in this moment? Well, now I've known you. I think I need to know you better. By doing so, I'll be staying for the duration of the holiday. You and your mom? No, just you and I. Mom got a lot to take care of. I will come back to pick me when it's time. All right. Let me put it back. Sure. Mm. Go in. Mm. No, is this how you people hit in this house? Can't you even pray for a moment? And to who? To God, of course. He provides me and deserves some respect from us. So, what should we do? Then we pray. That's just it. Okay. In Jesus' name. No, Mom. I want that to pray over the meal, else no one eats this meal.
But I'm not a pastor. Dad, you either pray over this meal or we forget all about this meal. Dad, are you praying over it or not? My darling, he is your father. You know, I can always help out. Hmm? In Jesus' name. No, Mom. I did say I want to know him. Did I promise to take it easy with him? So, Dad, are you ready to take the prayer or we pass the night here? Okay. Fine. Close your eyes, let's pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless this food for us as we eat as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Just us, one family. <clears throat> and that's how it should be. Just us. Just us, one family. And that's how it should be. Just us. Just us, one family. And that's how it should be just us. All rejection, so all desertion. You said you had a very beautiful trip coming down here. Oh yeah, it was very smooth. I see you went even sweating. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. It wasn't bad at all. Okay. <sighs> um, but Cindy, do you really think this is the best time for you to let her come stay with him? <sighs> you know my daughter, she's very stubborn. She keeps insisting on coming to spend some time with her father. I was left with no choice than to dance to her tune. Well, <clears throat> I'm only concerned. That's why you hear me talk this way. Because Mike, if I have to be honest with you, has not changed one little bit. Mike stays away from home for a couple of days and he comes back feeling no remorse for it. And whenever he manages to be at home, he's a complete nuisance. So, what do you suggest I do? Because no matter how hard I try to convince my daughter, she would never agree to go back home with me. I really suggest you try convincing her some more so she can have a rethink. Because Mike, I can authoritatively say, will never take care of that young girl. Believe me. But that is why I need your help, Andrew. Please. She really wants to spend some time with her father. Please. And if he doesn't give her that fatherly love, on whose shoulders do you think that responsibility would be upon? <sighs> Oh. oh my baby, I'm going to miss you. Please, oh, please be a good girl. Mm? And I assure you, you are going to enjoy their company. Okay? I'm getting to like everyone. Mm. Except the man that calls himself my dad. If we refuse to play along, I will turn tones on him. Don't worry, mm? he will come around. Okay. Um, Andrew, please do help me take care of her. Please. Thank you. All right, baby. Give me a hug. Oh, I will miss you. This be a good girl, okay? All right. Bye. I'll see you. All right, thank you.
But since the sleep refuses to come, what do you suggest I do? Keep rolling on the bed like a frog or gazing at the ceiling. Worst of all, the room has no mosquito net. I don't think I can sleep with such room. Darling, there is no room in this house with mosquito nets. And we all have been managing to sleep in them like that, without fear of being bitten by flies or mosquitoes. So I just suggest you ride on with us. Uncle Andrew, can I ask you a question? Yes, I'm listening. Do you have a woman you also impregnated and abandoned? No. I do not have a woman I impregnated and abandoned. And that's because I've not found any woman I love. And if you do, you won't impregnate her and abandon her just like your friend did to my mom. No. I won't do that. Because I am not my friend. I am me. We are different persons. And again, I will love and appreciate her from my heart. As our teacher said in class, birds of feather flock together. How are you doing, dear? Why are you up this early? Nothing. Can I request something from you, please? <sighs> Alright, anything at all. Anything at all, you say. Fine. From this moment, you are hereby banished from this room. You will be allowed to sleep in the living room while I sleep here alone until I change my mind about that. Please, may I have my turn to sleep, please? Okay, fine, fine. All right, so tell me what will I prepare for you for breakfast? How on earth do you want someone? Who is fast asleep to have breakfast? When I'm ready to eat, I'll let you know. Good night. Is yeah, just tired. See that in my days in my room. If I don't find solutions in my life, she will keep me before my time. Yeah, you know. What's up? See, they purposely brought her here to end up my life. Could you believe she was awake throughout the night while I was fast asleep? Just imagine what she might have done on my head. Telling me she does not want to see me in this room. My whole room again. She said I should relocate my bed to the city room. Till she decide, imagine the nonsense. So what are your plans now? Bro, I'm lost in my thoughts. Oh, Kelvin, good morning. Dad, 
I feel tea and bread with Bama will be my favorite this morning. But we don't have Bama in this house. Mind you, if you think of something else. And you feel I should eat the bread and tea just like that? Then get me what to eat the bread with. I love you with you. I'll keep you safe. Okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll find a way out. Will that only be enough for you? That question will be answered when I'm true. Dad, can I ask you a question? Go on. What do you do for a living? Uncle Kelvin is a DJ. Uncle Andrew is a teacher. Since I've been in this house, I've never seen you going to work or say anything close to it. Or are you the watchman? Oh no, sweetheart. I don't go to work. And I have a place where I work. Okay? And what has stopped you from going since I came around. Sweetie, I wanted to have some time with you so we could get used to each other and some more. Where do you work and as what? Oh, Claire, please. Can we talk about this some other time? Just enjoy your meal, okay? Why leaving her all alone in the house and you are here all by yourself? Or are you still thinking of the kind of girl she is if she's going to struggle you while you are asleep? Come on, girl, you don't need this. She misses you, that's all. <sighs> Miss my foot. You believe say she nearly come on my mat from my head? Question why my mom never feel ask me. She gotta leave her, they ask me why they wear chain, where they work, all those kinds of stupid questions. See, guy, to be sincere, eh? the fact is that I'm fed up. <laughs> guy, don't go kill yourself, bro. Because I will tell you, you know, yeah. You just have to accept your fate and rule with her. Guy, don't go kill yourself, bro. I guess you're not feeling scared tonight. Don't worry, okay? Your dad will send me home. Ask if I'm missing him in any way. Um, anyway, do you need anything so I can get them for you before I go to bed? Mind if you get me one of your books to keep me company till he returns. My books? Look, my books might not be very suitable for you. I'll manage it. Okay, so which would you care for? The ones talking about education, family, plants, which? No, I want something like how to kick a bad dad ass or something close. I, I don't have any book like that. But I'll definitely get you something. Maybe something like how to be a good girl to a badass dad. That will be fine for you. If you say so. <sighs> is there anything else you need so I could get them all together when I'm coming? No. The book is more important than anything else. If he treats me bad, I will kick his ass. Just us, one family. And I'll be back. That's how it should be just us. Just us, one fire. That uh, it should be just us, just us, 
one family And that's how it should be just us Good morning. How are you and how was your night? Not fine as we speak. What's the problem? Did you have a nightmare? Worse than a nightmare. I can't find my dad. And he promised we'll be home before dawn. And it's past 8 a.m. Like I told you before, he would come back. Okay? I ask again, Uncle Andrew. Before I call the police, where's my dad? I still regret all this. Won't she still find a point to dream and blood this time? Oh God. What kind of life is this? If it is my sin that I'm suffering from, please, I'm deeply sorry. Forgive me. And I will never go back to them again. Has he picked up his phone yet? for this also.
go alongside of making an attempt to kill my daughter. Oh my goodness. Meaning I've been living with an enemy all this while I never knew of. From the look of things, Michael, everybody would suspect you. Of course you were here when you handed over the pack to her. Of the truth, she didn't follow her. But it was the same food she was eating when everything that happened, happened. So who wouldn't suspect you? Think, Michael. Excuse me. Are you telling me to think of a better way to kill my daughter or what? What's going on here? There's a small living room to flex muscles. The compound is big enough. Or go to the stadium. Is there anything you want to pick? That's lovely to see. I hate mosquitoes for their unpleasant noise. Thank you for your cooperation. Bro, for how long are you going to keep doing this? The problem at our now is beyond the theory of us. Even as a tag team, we can't win. And we advise you play along. <laughs> play along, you said? Yeah. Wait a moment. Have you ever put yourself in my shoes to see what I'm going through in a hand? Man, this is unbearable. You have made your point clearly here. This one you are complaining to me. Who should I complain to? I can't take this nonsense. I think it's that time I called the mom to come take her back to where she brought her from. Are you sure you can do what you just said? <sighs> if her mom did not come, I would do that myself. I don't want to die before my time. <sighs> just play along, bro. If you ever dreamt of it, let him know and imagine it again. I swear you will forever regret making the decision to come pay me a visit. For how long you think I can consider your nonsense? See, if this is how you behave to your stupid mother, you cannot try that with me here. Yeah? Not now, I'm over. Am I clear? Not at all. Sorry, pardon me? Yes, Dad. I couldn't assimilate a word that you said so far. If you have anything against your girlfriend, who happens to be my mother, must you now make a generational aggression? We are blood related. I think there should be a way a father will relate to his beloved daughter. If truly I'm your beloved. You are mad! <laughs> Just warned you. Oh, Andrew. Yes, darling. Please, if you don't mind, can I share your room with you before my mother comes for me? Don't worry about anyone. I blame my mother for telling me that the man who impregnated her is still alive. When do you think your mom will be coming back for you? Very soon, I guess. I pray she don't end up allowing me end my life so soon. 
Come here, darling. Listen, I'm going to try the best I can to reach out to your mom so she wouldn't leave you here stranded, okay? Okay. Just us, one family, and that's how it should be. Just us, just us, one family, and that's how it should be. Just us, just us, one family. Hey, I don't think I want chance. It should be just us. All rejection, all desertion, all lies. <laughs> it's just one family. All rejection, all desertion, all lies. It's just one family Just us One family And that's how It should be just us Just us One family And that's how It should be just us Just us one family And that's how it should be just us You left us, rejected us Along the way, deserted us All I want is just one family You left us, rejected us Along the way, deserted us All I want it's just one family Just us One family And that's how It should be just us Just us One family And that's how It should be just us Just us One family and that's how it should be just us the 18 days I stepped my foot into this house. I've not seen any of you, either from this room or outside, pick a room to sweep this living room. And since I don't take my head levity, I think it's time I get to work. Bible says there's time for everything. Welcome. I did tell you, you never know. Oh, <laughs> oh sir. I like. I like the way you do on that day. Oh my God. I do it, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, 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 that guy is stupid. Mm. Is that happening, Sha? Mm. 
it can happen for some. Oh my. Joshua, this girl no keep person no. Something must kill him, Max. Max. See, mm. I swear, if not be see dumb now, my brother. This girl, I for don't plan for her. Give come, come, me. come. The way you tell the talk now. I will say that the plan for this girl not be today. It is the talk. Don't say, don't want the plan for the girl. See, come and tell you. Mm. You, you blind. I be God. Who you think I be like God? Now blow the flow inside me. Which, which man go see? Waiting that girl here. Yeah. We no go plan to do that kind thing to her. You tell me. I just say be man of God. That one I for Sunday service. Which kind of yeah, man of God come? See, but guy, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 come no, no, on no. for that girl. I come on for that no, girl. No, no, no. I go more do something to this girl. Sure. Yeah. Now we did this couple. I waited there. They just come on for that side. You go here and there. I go. You get fine. So what's my own in this? Come on, man. Do you know what is going on between us? I know you and I know you're the only one who can talk sense into her. And if you do that yourself? No. You know she won't give me a listing here. Listen to me, Michael. That young girl loves you like a father and a friend. But you were never there for her when she needed you most. So how would you expect her to treat you? Like a Santa Claus or a fairy godmother? I advise you use every opportunity you have now before things get out of hand. I have tried how I could. But she's not giving me any attention. The more I try, the less it becomes something else. And I don't want the mother to find out what is happening between us. Yes, I'm finished. <laughs> really? Yes, of course. Anyway, in case you missed the headlines, she used my cell phone to speak with her mother yesterday and even a day before. Yes. Why will you allow that? For what reason? I don't get. After you've crossed your line, with what you have done, I don't think I can ever forgive you. Should anything come out from that call, I bet you, you have yourself to blame. What kind of nonsense is this? Come in, the door is open. Why acting as if you are a guest in this house? Must you always knock before entering your room? Anyway. <clears throat> yes. And no. You're a lady, Claire, and courtesy only demands that will give you some some privacy. Really? Yes. But that's not even the reason I'm here. Claire, please forgive your dad. For whatever he has done to your mom and yourself, please, I'm begging you to please forgive him. He's ready to make amends. Why are you clapping? Does it mean that everything I've said don't make sense to you? Of course it does. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Thank you. Are you a spokesman that he can't come and apologize for himself for being heartless to his family? If you don't know how mom and I felt, you won't have come to speak on his behalf. I can only imagine what he did to your mom and yourself. But, please. Many were in support of his behaviors. No, I'm not in support. In fact, he didn't even say anything to me until this morning. That's why I decided to come to you, to beg you, to please forgive him for whatever he has done to you and your mother. He's ready to make amends, trust me. Are you sure he's willing and ready to change? Yes, he's willing and he's ready. On one condition. Uncle Andrew came to plead on your behalf. So if you want me to forgive you, write out the things you're owing my mom. 
and how you have planned to meet up with her. Secondly, how you are planning to be her wedded husband. Waiting. <sighs> you see, I told Uncle Andrew that my supposed father is not ready to have a family. My father did not like me. He did not even want to marry my mother as well. I did love to be around him. But he's not always there for me. I'd rather go back to my mother than be here with a man who doesn't care about me. Probably I will seek for another man to take care of us. Always a place for everything, okay? All rejection, all desertion, all I want is just one family. All rejection, all desertion, all I want is just one family. Just us, one family. That's how it should be just us, just us, one family, and that's how it should be just us, just us, one family, and that's how it okay. should be just us. You left us, rejected us, along the way, deserted us, but life Hello, little miss. It's just Are you here to see somebody? Family. You left Please, my dear, it is you I'm referring to. Do you have an appointment with anyone here? Do I look like a visitor to you? Or is it a mandate that whosoever lives here must be answerable to you? My dear, I haven't said anything to raise your anger this morning. So you feel? Firstly, you called me little miss. Am I that small that you can't see me? Secondly, you valued me, your dear. Am I in any way related to you? And you want me to become with you. My dad will hear about this when he comes. No, ma. I didn't mean to belittle you. It's just an expression. I'm sorry, now that you've made corrections, I will try and adjust to it. You better do, because I will take this case up with you. Now 
thing the person not going to get to because I have escaped this small pick. Do you think I'm cooking taste for you guys? No, I didn't say that. I was only trying to imagine the level of confidence she had to confront that man. That's all. You must be kidding me. If I have been the one she said all that to, wouldn't you guys have doubted me? Look, guys, that little guy has eaten the sweet part of my life. They allow her package that back to her mother, the better for all of us. Especially me in this house. She's really a cancer to me. Michael, Michael. Look, listen to me, Michael. That girl needs time. And she's definitely going to change. Couple of the things I've been telling her, trust me, she will change. Are you saying time? Time, you say? If I start spending a month. The question, brother, would have been, how much moral rectitude have you instilled in that girl? Michael. See, guys, whether you like it or not, she's going back this weekend, and that is fine. Or do you want something terrible to come out of it? And I strongly object to that. She is going nowhere. That girl is just a child for goodness sake. And she is your daughter, Michael. Me too. She is not going anywhere until after the holidays. Because she has actually been of help to me in diverse ways. Excuse me. Me, how do you say my daughter? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? See, guy, I don't want to have that thought, please. Come to pick her. From now on, she will be staying with me. I know you can hear me. Yeah. 
did I ask for your assistance? I think it then would be a better time to talk. I just... What? Do you want to fight me now or what? There is more to life than all these things you're doing, Michael. If you ever think that I have anything to do with your daughter, then you must be a victim of gross dementia because that girl is like my child. So just stop all these things you're doing and be a man. Be a man! I've made my point clear. Stay far away from my daughter. That is her. Or is it too big for me to ask from you? And if I don't? Then be ready to attach the best in me. My dear, the dining is set. Come out for your breakfast before it gets cold. I don't remember ever complaining to you that I'm hungry. Is there anything you want to say? Thanks for your kind gesture. Does it mean you've not taken your breakfast? It is almost midday. You never called my attention to it. How would I have known? <sighs> Come on, stop kidding me. I told you I've prepared you and me before leaving the house this morning. <sighs> never mind. Let me get it warm for you. Don't bother. Since I didn't hear anything from you, I have gone out to get some snacks that will sustain me for a while. You can warm it. That's if I still have the appetite for it. Like seriously? <sighs> All right. Let me get it one for you. I'm coming.
that tied us on life It's just what family You left us, rejected us Along the way, deserted us on life It's just one family Big man. They done. Ah, fine. <laughs> I just do. Bless you just to the wash under the sun. I just make I just wash more clothes. Uh, bless you to go out. Eh, hey, my girl one or two is now. All right, now later now. All right, take care. Maga, Alpha, don't chew the work. You sure? Empty don't do it. Empty don't do it. Okay, I don't sell everything. Eh, hey. feels are trouble now. Hey. But Maga, no vest that has to do. It's an uncle free combo. I want you to work while I go do and I make an uncle free combo. So I beg. Uh, uh, no, no, no problem now. Uh -huh. No problem. See, this one, I won't cut it down now. This one will just. Eh, hey, but this one, Maga, not sure if you do it here. That's in the office. Uh, That's the biggest one. Alright, no problem, here. no problem. See, Abe, let me close the bonnet, eh? Uh, no worries. Then, uh, no worry, I'll send you your money. Okay. Ah, uh, you do where? Uh, uh, no worries, that. Uh, thank, thank you very sir. much. Are you finally taking me to my mom or dad? Which one of them? So I can prepare my mind towards that. Please, Claire. Don't you think it's too early for this? I was only asking a question which demands an answer. Because you watching my clothes is like a raindrop in just. And for you to have gladly done that is a puzzle I'm still trying to solve here. Does it mean my question got no answer at all? Or you don't just want to reply me? Uh, there is time for everything. That time you're demanding, I think I don't have it right now.
to your guests know they need to compose themselves when in someone else's house. But at least it's late. I don't think that advice is meant for me. It should be for your guests that failed to respect themselves. Young lady, can you stop the chewing of the gum? Maybe when you get that, you can continue chewing. Are you kidding me? I'm not. Since you can't respect yourself, I feel talking to you would be better before something has happened to you in this house. Hey, have we ever met to warrant this insult from me? Must we know ourselves to apply common sense? No. Kelvin, good day. Please, can you help me call my dad to know where he is? You insulted my babe and still have the guts to tell me to call your father for you. I'm sorry. It's not my fault that she does not have home training. And as for her, when next I see her, I will take a case personal. And as for my dad, don't bother to call him. <laughs> big man. I see you're working out. That's fine, I'm uh, I saw what you're doing now. You don't see him. I think I want to try what you're doing. Oh, yeah, no. No, just, just take this. Have this. Oh, really? Try it. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Jeez, this is heavy. How do you guys do it? life. One more. So, I thought you were finish you. This is your matter too much. Do your body like malaria. Uh -uh. Don't you like it? Don't you enjoy it? Oh, more. Um, everybody like him, um, all of us they run him, but too much of everything bad. Huh. You understand? Go limit him, guy. Is it about too much? Eh? Okay, too much. Even if your grammar too much. I they follow you talk now with PJ, they blow grammar for me. Scholar. Only you go to school now. Come on, Don. Is it because I didn't come down with my novels? <laughs> <laughs> See this man. Go pack the gum now, are you away? Anyway, I think I'll achieve this today. Oh, yeah, now. Just let this have a sample for you. You get it? Okay. Mm hmm. Uh. No. Yeah, the medium one. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like that. And then you screw. Okay. It's and actually then you getting screw. heavier. That's so now. Uh. Mm. That just to one side, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> 
God, you act like a man, oh guy. My goodness. Come on. Come on, Don. Come on. I didn't tell you. <laughs> Pass this ball. to hear what you have to say but mind you if it does not make any sense i swear i will skin you alive now start talking when i finish what i've got to say you will decide if it makes sense or not first who is the actual owner of this house and if you are the owner why keeping such friends like them or are they the joint owner if they are joint owners when will you have your money to get your own house Hey, did your mother or anyone send you to me? Because I really cannot understand why you have refused me peace in this house. Has your mother told you anything about me? That makes you feel I can never be a good man. Tell me, please, I want to know. Or has my friends been telling you things that make you change your mind towards me? If indeed I was sent by anyone, I would have gotten rid of you a long time. And since no one has sent me, I feel I should talk to you as the man of the house.
I don't think it's time I break my fast. So why are you misbehaving this morning? Well, since you guys want to know, I will have to say it. I have never seen you guys going to the gym downstairs to get fit. It's time for the gym. And the guys are making their way there to get physically fit and good looking. And you guys are here eating. It won't hurt to your muscles. Neither will it give you the desired look. Claire. Will there ever come a day in this house that you wake up and you won't choose to give everyone trouble? Hmm? Have I said anything wrong now? Yes, you have said something wrong. You are even almost biting more than you can chew with this your mouth. Now let me warn you. Don't you ever in this house talk to anyone like that again. Did you hear me? Well, I will have to keep my advice to myself then. Yes, keep your advice to yourself, little witch. Anything the matter. Clearly, everything is the matter. Everything is the matter. For crying out loud, everything is the matter. When will you wake up from your room and allow people to wonder why you're in door? Are you doing the child in this house? Why are you becoming a thorn in our flesh? Dad, I did not do anything. With the way you are angry with me is what I don't really understand. Until you tell me what they say I did wrong. Dad. Look into my eyes. Let today be the first and last you get me to talk in this house. If you're tired of living here, just tell me. Let me take you back to your mother's. Wow. Are you serious? Do you really mean it? God.
Hello, big miss. Do you know if Andrew and Kelvin are around? Like seriously? At least, Kossi demands you beat. Then you can proceed in whatsoever you want to ask. You can't just open your mouth wide and begin to ask questions. Or, if I were to be the one to do that, how will you feel? Wow. <laughs> are you kidding me or what? That's why you don't regard me in the first place. You're thinking I'm a kid. If you excuse me. Wow. <laughs> this is ridiculous, you know. Like seriously? Pretty little miss, how are you doing? Not doing fine, sir. Like seriously? Come. Come have a seat beside me. Now tell me, what really is the matter? Since you care to know, can I apologize for something first? Apology? Okay, go on with your apology. Thank you, sir. I want to apologize for the way I insulted you the last time. I never knew you were a nice person. My dear, I did remember that fateful day, but I've forgiven you, and it's all in the past now. Okay, so let's put our past behind us. But why do people find it difficult to forgive one another? <clears throat> you see these fingers, as they are, they will never be equal. That is how we human beings are, that is how we behave. That is how we think and that is how we react to things that affect us. So you feel neither you nor me can change the bad things in this compound? Well, uh, that would depends if you and I will change our ways of how we treat others. Then you see everyone in this compound begin to emulate and amend their ways. Thank you, sir. I will always be coming to you when I need someone to talk to. Well, it's my pleasure. You're welcome. My door is always open, okay? Do take care of yourself, alright? And be a good girl. Okay, I was in night. Good morning, Uncle Andrew. How was your night? My night was fine, thank you. But is this supposed to be a reality or just a figment of my imagination? It's a reality. 
I believe there's a stage in every man's life that needs rebranding. Honestly, Claire, I just don't know what to say. But just come here. Come here. One family, and that's how it should be just us. Just us. One family, and that's how it should be just us. Just us. One family, and that's how it should be just us. I think I should go and prepare something for them. It all happens to everyone. But that doesn't mean you're not a good cook. I know someday you're going to make a meal that will make them hunger for your food. My dear, do not be discouraged. You see those great men and women we celebrate today? They were once discouraged, disgraced, and abandoned. But one thing is certain, they never gave up on themselves. So my dear, please do not be discouraged. The Lord is your strength. Even my father started everything, making his friends not to appreciate my cooking. <sighs> well, I will try to talk to your father. Even if you make mistakes sometimes, he should correct you privately and not in the presence of his friends. Do not be discouraged, okay? Change music, yeah. <coughs> 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 
hate you, I hate you, I hate you.
Excuse me. This is neither your apartment, nor your vehicle that you take around like a castle. This is my apartment. You either say what you want or you leave. For the mosquitoes are looking for where to spend the night. The gods! You talk to me in such manner? Come, are you, are you sure you're not a witch? If you think I am, I would have eaten up your eyes. For the last time, what and who do you seek? It's really late. You, this girl. Don't worry, I'll let this slide. We shall see. So what are you doing here? Really? Are you still talking? Have you lost your sense of time? Ha! Who do you think you're talking to? Who? You of course. You're a disgrace to womanhood. If you're not, you wouldn't have left your parents' house and come to a man's house who is not your husband or brother and start smoking nonsense this early morning. You are so, so lucky. You were lucky I'm in a good mood this morning. I would have dealt with you seriously. Rubbish. In heaven, I know it's been a while you have heard my prayer. I am sorry because I know I'm a sinner. But for this morning, I have come solely because of my father. He has failed my mother as a husband and trying to make me regret having him as my father. Even when we don't relate as father and daughter. Please, I beg of you, Father in heaven. Rain sickness on him. Make him never to be strong to go after another woman. Make every woman in Luca slap him. And if he decides to fight with them, let the woman beat him seriously as he comes home.
Lord God Almighty. In addition to the ones I have prayed, please, any man matter to me or to you that is working day and night to see my father and mother never be together, let your consuming fire consume the person and his idea. Thank you, Lord, for your answer to my prayer. Amen. Maybe I come back if the match don't end. Eh, no worry. If you just uh, might be the volume down soon. Bros, now about all those girls who are they see you people. Especially that one where you carry come for weekends. Hmm. Bros, those girls no good though. And their spirit self no pure. Let me be the cool thing you say, if you go tell mom see, me mom see pray for you. They has a you need wife, me she pray for you. Me too. Go still hard and Abi bros, how you see him now? Since when this one start Rita? Eh? So you don't turn monitoring spirit for this house? Eh? You know who bad, who get good mind and who no get good mind? Prophetess, you don't receive vision, tell us now, we will find where we open church for you. Take your time, oh. If not boredom or something, they worry you, go, to, go inside, you get dressed. Then go out or call one of your boyfriends to take you to the cinema. You cannot hear this kind of thing again, otherwise, my slap you go collect. Ah! Ah, now that eye will kill you. As you know, if you use your head, they pull out. That eye, I go kill you. The next time you talk to me, this kind of nonsense. Now, village, now you go see yourself. Idiot. Well, now, I beg. Advice. Advice, sir. Minister of Advice, sir. Your food is served in the kitchen. Go make yourself comfortable. You are the one I'm talking to, Claire. Dad, table manners, please. Just us, one family. And that's how it should be. Just us. Just us, one family. It should be just us, just us, one family, and that's how it should be just us. All rejection, all desertion, 
All I want is just one family. All rejection, all dejection. All I want is just one family. Just us, one family, and that's how it should be. Just us, just us. One family, and that's how it should be. Just us, just us. One family, and that's how it should be. Just us. Good day, sir. Oh, pretty little to miss. How are you doing? Fine. Please sit. So, what brought you to my humble? Duty post this hot afternoon. Is that guy not married? Is that guy not married? <sighs> not that I know of. If I may ask, what prompts such question? Most times I see him with different form of women. Is that how he has been living his life in this compound? <laughs> He's a guy and not married. So what do you expect? Wait a minute. How long have you been working here as a security? My dear, <clears throat> yeah, I've been working here for about a year now. And what were you doing before now? <sighs> it's such a long story. But I give God the glory that I'm still alive today. That's true. But mind if I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. How many ladies have you seen with my dad? I mean the one she has been coming into the compound with. You see, my dear, minding one's business is the best way a man should stick to and command respect. I don't follow, please. <clears throat> I think your father is in the best position to answer these questions of yours. Yes, of course. Mind if you spare me a minute before making your way out. All right. So, I'm listening. I just want to ask you a question, and I will be pleased if you answer it. Why being friends with Don that changes women like rags when you have mom to make your best friend? Claire, to be sincere with you, I'm still wondering if I'm your real biological father or adopted father really yes of course see i get the fact you and i are still never in this house if that's how you see it then so be it is that the bullshit you want to tell me i don't have time for you i have to run down to work this morning mm. Look, I'm very sorry I had to put up that music. It was really blasting my medulla oblongata. <sighs> I wonder when you're going to understand that your grammar is nowhere close to mine at all. Except to come down to my level. They will remain always alien to me. Oh, come on, Claire. Anyway, is your father back to prepare for work? I don't have a father. I only have a neighbor living next door. I don't understand. You can only force a child into a man's hand, but can never force a man into a child's hand. So, for now, I have known who I am and what is expected of me in this house. Claire, I still do not understand. Mr. Mike is in position to do that. 
Have a lovely night. Okay. But please, do not switch on that music back because it's really going to blast my medulla oblongata. Okay? If I don't come on time, you lock the door. Don't wait for me, eh? and don't find me. Sure. Things I will find you before. Does the honey mean you were calling me? Or does it mean it's the new name you have given me now? Or probably have been appointed as the new security chief that I don't know of? The deeds of Rakon is gradually drawing in here. As for you, security man! Yes, sir. I don't want to see you, my daughter, again if you still love your job. I'm sorry, sir. You better be sorry for yourself. This whole thing is getting too much. Now you agree with me? No, but I make deliver. Now you see what she don't tell me to. So what do we do? Because I sincerely do not belong to the bandwagon of those that believe in sparing the road to spoil the child. We really need to be a little bit strict on her. And the earlier we do that, the better for every one of us in this house. You seriously need to warn her? If she release the beast in me, but it go tell her. Just as 
one family And that's how it should be just us Just us One family And that's how it should be just us Just us One family And that's how it should be just us All rejection All desertion All I want It's just one family All rejection All desertion All I want It's just one family Just us One family And that's how It should be just us Just us One family And that's how It should be just us Just us One family And that's how It should be just us You left us Rejected us Along the way Deserted us I'm grateful Everybody thinks my bad child but fail to understand that a dog doesn't back for nothing sake. Boy should have taken things easy with him. If you had explained to him this way, things wouldn't go this bad. Like kill myself to make him understand how I feel or how bad he has treated me. The worst part was him calling me a nobody. If I had my turn, he would pay daily for it. Where where are you going? Looking for an happy place to my mind. I thought we planned going somewhere when we left home. I thought you changed your mind. No, I didn't change my mind. Let's go. <laughs> Or you find yourself to blame for the rest of your life. You stole my money and replace it with this. Are you deaf? You want me to be saying you before you start opening your mouth? Dad, I do not even understand what you're saying. What gave you the guts to see my money and what to do you use it for? Try this again. You might have to end up telling me who my biological father is. And as for this injury, you make me sustain. Mom will be here about it.
Cinderella, what's going on? Why are you still wearing your pajamas? My dad called me a thief and injured me on my left hip. My goodness. Here? Does it hurt? Yes. Where is he? I don't know. He has been walking to and through since. I would not take this easily with him in this house. You see that it take me to my real dad or get arrested for kidnapping. Claire, what are you talking about? I might be young, but don't be surprised when I say I've gone out to meet people to help me call my mom and I've explained things to her. You called your mother? But you should have waited for me to come back first. The person in question does not deserve to be called a man. He will pay for the maltreatment I have been getting from him. I'll be back, okay? She stole my money. I still have the guts to deny it. What do you expect me to do? But that's not an excuse, Michael. You would never go scot free in this case if that goes beyond this point. She is your daughter for crying out loud. A very little girl at that. Let me ask you what would you have said if she had landed in the hospital from the way you manhandled her? Think, Michael, think! Just to forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So just to stop on.
your mom has been calling and disturbing me on the phone saying she wants to speak with you. I hope all is well. How can all be well when the man she put me in his care is tormenting my life? Well, I guess she's calling to tell me when she'll be coming with the officers she promised to come with. Officers? You mean you had to call your mom and explain things to her and she told you what she would do to your father? Point of correction, sir. That man is not my father. He is a caretaker. There is a wide difference between a caretaker and a father. A caretaker does not care whose ox is God. <sighs> things are really going beyond my expectation. Mike is really in soup. Battle line has just been drawn in this house. Dad, what do you want me to do now? My head just full. Did you just get back your senses? Are you just realizing that you learned to take this easy with that young girl? Listen to me, Michael. Let me give you very candid advice right now. You should better go and look for a place to stay for at least one week or more. Because if she dares execute the plan she has for you, <laughs> me, Andrew, I will definitely deny you. Yes, you leave me no choice. You leave me no choice. This is unusual of you. What might have made you leave your room and come to mine at this odd hour? I know the time is odd, Claire. But please, you just need to listen to me and make everyone in this house happy. In a few hours, we'll be celebrating your birthday and you wouldn't want anything to disrupt it, right? Good. <coughs> Claire. Please, I want you to call your mother and tell her to seize her actions. Tell her you have forgiven your dad so she wouldn't come here and put everything apart. Okay? This is why I came. I will think about it and make my plan known to you.
Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Okay, just listen to me. You don't need to come anywhere close to this house for now. Just stay away, okay? Yes, stay away. Of course, we did everything we planned, but she says she must call her mother, that she can't even forgive you. Yes. Yes, she says you must have to face the wrath of the law. Anyway, that's not the reason I called. I just want to let you know that you have to stay away from this house for now. Just stay very far away from here. Okay, okay, no problem. But let me ask you. Do you even remember today's her birthday? Just imagine. Just get out of my phone, I'll talk to you later. Max! Max, man! Sir! I'm coming, sir! Where are you doing now? You know, see, you know, the hair is not for it. But sorry, I'll be mean, doing something for back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll check at the gate. Okay, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Are you Mr. Max? Yes. Yeah, this for clear. Okay. Thank All right. you. All right. Take care. Bye. Uh, I'll not be cake with that. Who can't get cake? Bros, I want to leave you my card drop on. Send that for Claire. Who be Claire? That's small wish. <laughs> Bros, who not reason like that too? That girl a nice girl. Nice girl. <laughs> for your mind. Don't be surprised. Go deliver that cake to her. She'll be tasting me in return and see the cake no hot. I never tell you, tell you. This one, she got appreciate her way, bros. Oh, well, all right now. Tell you, boss. All right. Andrew went out. Don't worry, he'll soon be on his way, okay? Yeah. Okay. Hope you like the recipe, the cake. Yes, I yeah, do. Yeah, let's sit down and wait for everyone. They'll soon be on their way. Okay. You like the juice, the drink?
One five. 